Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one today. Today, today is going to be an interesting day for Nerdrasoft. And I say interesting because we have to make some changes to the company to start making more money. Because as it is right now, we're back in a spot where we're not making any. We're also not making much in the way of software. And I feel like our production has slowed down a little bit too much. So here's what I think we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to go upstairs into the marketing room and I'm going to have my marketing team take over the legal team office because we don't have a legal team and I don't necessarily see us getting a legal team anytime soon. So we're going to take over the legal team office and we're going to go ahead and just, you know, bring the bring the style over here. Let's go ahead and get the chairs in this space to be the same color as well. And if I really wanted to, which I ever so slightly do want to do, I could probably get another one, maybe two desks in here. So let's go ahead and do just that. Let me throw a desk into this corner right about here. So we're going to throw it right about there and we'll go ahead and duplicate this guy. And it'd be kind of cool if we could put it at that angle, but essentially we could just put a desk sort of there and that's going to give us a grand total of eight more desks for marketing. Now, what I also want to do is go in here and select all of the room dividers and get those nicely colored as well to match everything. Uh, very, very bright and visible through the windows there. Don't know that I love that, but honestly, not too worried about it. Honestly, honestly, not too worried about it. I do want to make this room a little better, though. At the minute, it's it's doing okay. Lighting, environment, temperature, acoustics, all of that is great. But I just want to make sure it can be as good as possible. So we'll select the computers, we'll replace those, we'll put some paintings in here, and we'll make it lovely. And there we go. I think this actually looks pretty decent. It also turns out we've unlocked the TVs, which give us a little bit of a bonus to effectiveness in the rooms. So I think this will do in terms of eight more seats for marketing. The room has plus 10% effectiveness, plus 25% skill and plus 25% mood, where this one over here is plus 10% skill and plus 25% mood. So we don't actually have much in the way of effectiveness in this other room, which we could probably get if we went ahead and maybe grabbed a TV for right there and a TV for right there. Does that actually do anything? It gives us a bit more effectiveness, which isn't too bad. So we'll we'll give that a shot and we'll see what ends up happening. But I think that will probably be good enough for my marketing teams. Although I do want to select just all of the lights in that room and make it a little sort of, you know, the same as as what we have over here. So let's get a uh, let's get a light right there and let's just go down through the room and do what we can do. And now that that's all done, we can go into manage staff. Actually, no, we can't. We can go into manage teams. We can go to marketing and we want to go ahead and bring this 12 up to, I guess, 20 on the service staff. So we're going to bring in a bunch more marketers. And you might be thinking, well, why am I bringing in marketers if I'm not really marketing anything? And you would be right to ask that. But what I'm what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of taking some marketing deals. So if we sort by description and we go down a little bit, we have marketing for Game Connect. That's going to give us 34,000 a month, 30,000 a month, 41 a month, 79,000 a month. If we can take all of these and it turns out to be successful, which reminds me, speaking of successful, we are doing some printing right now. And I've just noticed that this December 96 one, not doing very well. So... Let's bring you down a little bit. Let's bring you down a little bit. Let's bring you down a little bit. And let's see if we can actually get this thing printed and shipped out in a good amount of time. Because we kind of need to do that. So we'll keep an eye on it. It is August. We have a very... Actually, we have no time at all, really, to push out 699,000 units. We might need to call some couriers. And I think to cheat, I might do that but anyway my my point being my reputation keeps tanking because i keep failing some of these print jobs even by just a thousand or two thousand copies so i want to get some good marketers to bring my uh my reputation up again by taking some marketing deals so that's why we've expanded the team 
and I do like how their offices have turned out. I think that's going to be pretty good for them. And it's also important to keep in mind that we are going to be getting Vector 5 and Vertex 2 out the door soon enough, and Nerd OS is going to be going out the door as well. Now, that's all well and good, but we're still not making enough things, right? We're still not really doing much beyond all of that. And if we look at my releases, I mean, you know, we made 66 million on Amplitude 2, 38 in Vector 4. So if we made an Amplitude 3, it might do pretty well. If we made a Vector 5, which we're doing, it'll hopefully do quite well. The, the issue is that all of my teams are currently caught up in operating system development, or at least operating system design right now. So I'm, I'm still strongly debating getting more teams is is what i'm considering and i'm also thinking we should get more security this is something i've been looking at i i actually want to come down here i know this is a bit off topic but i want to come down here and get a couple of uh, a couple of these guys and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a security desk uh can i get away with the security desk there hopefully i can it's a bit of a weird spot for it but we'll go for there we'll go for there i think people can still get behind the desks so that should be all right and then I want to go to utility and I want to get myself a uh, security camera, I guess. Can I put it beside the door? I actually can put it beside the door, which is probably the best place for it. So a camera right there and a camera right there that covers everyone coming out of the elevators. And then if I go into, how do I do room groups? If I go to room groups and I say new group and I say, uh, I guess a printing lobby is what we'll call this. So we'll call that the printing lobby. We can add this room to printing lobby. And then if I go into staff and I go to, uh, where's my security guys? Uh, security's right here. If I go and say one, two, three, four, five security guys, am I, am I even sorting by, by anything here? I need to see my security. There they are. So one, two, three, four, five. Give me one more. I want to assign all of you to the printing lobby. And I want you two to come in at 4 p.m. And I want you two to come in at 12 a.m. And in theory, that should solve the issue where we keep getting robbed. Because it's getting really annoying getting constantly robbed and having to replace a lot of stuff myself. So hopefully this will cover us in that regard. And speaking of being covered, we've managed to get all of these print jobs finished in time, thanks to a little bit of creative courier hiring, but that's fine. It means my reputation will hopefully continue to climb a little bit and we can hopefully solidify this second star. And I guess, you know, speaking of reputation, let's end marketing in Vector 2. Let's minimize these guys for a second because I don't need to look at them. Uh, porting of Amplitude Vector and Vertex is almost done, but what I want to do is I want to take some deals. So let's see. By December, you want that many copies and you want that many copies. I could probably do it. I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and take this Sloth 2 marketing job, and that's going to give me 79000 a month. And I mean, right now we are losing a couple of hundred thousand a month. My sales are really not cutting it. But if my marketing team can handle Amplitude and Sloth 2, then... And if they handle it well, we'll take another deal and we'll just sort of keep throwing deals on there until we see that they sort of can't handle it very well. And looking at it, I mean, they're done with Sloth 2 in really no time at all. So marketing is going to be sat around doing nothing for most of the month. So what we'll do is we'll take another one next month and we'll see how that goes. And we'll sort of just keep taking them until, like I said, until we can't handle it. Okay, now it's January 1997. My marketing team is doing a fantastic job and Vector 5 has just moved into beta. So before we start marketing it, I do just want to have a look at some deals that are coming in. We have some print jobs. They want some copies by September. We can absolutely do that. There's absolutely no reason we should be able to fail that particular print job. There's no hosting coming in by the looks of it. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm never going to take design development. I'm probably never going to take support. I will take, I'm uh, not going to take manufacturing either. I don't know what IP is, but we'll filter by those and that will just show me the things I'm interested in. 
And I guess what we do is we come up with a launch date for Vector 5. Now, when did Vector 4 release? April of 91. Well, we're not giving it a three month beta. That seems like a bad idea. So instead, let's give it a 97 release. Let's say Q1. No, Q2. No, let's say July. Q3, 1997, it's Vector 5. In terms of marketing, we'll go ahead and throw this to the marketing team, and we're going to make that the top priority for the marketing team as well. And then we'll go ahead, I guess, and put out a press build uh, immediately. I guess. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea. And we'll throw hype at the marketing team as well so that we can hopefully not lose followers. So hopefully this gets done. What do you mean burglars are looting my premises? Hello? Can they Can they not? Oh, hello. Did they see security and leave? Wait, where did they go? Where did, the where did they go? Hello? Where, where, oh, there they are. Are they just like running away? Oh, they did. Nice. We got burgled and they didn't get anything. That's what you like to see. All right. So let's see how Vector 5 does. I want to hopefully get some followers on this thing. Uh, we failed a fire inspection. I don't care. We're fine. So what, the place will maybe burn down. It's not that big a deal. I'm sure we have insurance. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, do we have insurance? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that we do. We should, we should probably look into that. Employee benefits. I know the employees are happy, so that's great. Um, but How do I, like, look at my company, though? <laughs> that's loans, stocks, finances, insurance, and investments. All right. So we can't get contents insurance unless I... Yeah, that's fair enough. So we don't get contents insurance unless we pass a fire inspection. All right. I mean, do we want to... Do we want to start buying out the other the other guys? I really don't know. I, I mean, if they die, I guess we... I guess the estate gets some money or something. I don't know how it works. I don't actually know business. I, look, I just play video games, okay? I don't actually know business. Just in case... You know, I, I don't know how to actually run a, so a software development company, all right? With, like, however many employees we have. I don't I don't know any of this. I'm just pretending, all right? I'm just acting. I'm basically an actor. I'm a, I'm a terrible actor, but I'm an actor. Oh, now that's a bit rough. We actually just lost some reputation because my marketing team didn't actually manage to finish all of the marketing last month because they were working on this press release. So let's throw the press release out there which is getting people pretty hyped about Vector. What do you mean you can't find a stove? What do you mean you can't find a stove? Aren't you going to a stove right now? Like you're walking around, you're going down. Yeah, you're going to go to a... All right. All right. Well, that's that's that sorted. Anyway, my reputation should start going back up here since I've managed to market everything. If we look at deals, I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not super interested in taking more marketing deals because we are marketing uh, Vector five now so i think it would be a pretty bad idea we could probably throw another press build out though and see what people think of that and i mean coming up on four and a half thousand followers is that's pretty good i'm i'm hopeful that this thing's actually going to make money and that we're going to start seeing things turn around a little bit and uh, we're also starting to wrap up some of these deals down here as well so we are going to see less money come in but we are going to see more time for my marketing team to do things uh so let's start printing let's set a maximum here of a hundred thousand copies in stock so that we'll be all right there uh we can probably start putting together another press release i think my marketing team could probably handle that at least i yeah they're actually pretty decent which is nice it's nice having a marketing team that's able to do things well if a bit slowly for some reason I don't know why pictures and text seem to take the longest. That's a bit weird. It is a bit, it is a bit weird that those things take forever. Ooh, also NerdOS, ready to develop. Let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. I'm excited about this. Ooh, I'm excited about this. NerdOS is hopefully actually going to make us money. And also, we didn't finish marketing again. Oh, no. Oh, no. My reputation is going to take another hit. All right. You know what we need? We need to out, we need to not outsource, but we need to we need to get another building and we need to get a dedicated marketing team in there. We need to get dedicated uh deals 
teams, essentially. We need a support team that can take deals. We need a marketing team that can take deals. I think that would be a really good idea because it means that we can have a team dedicated to making sure that my reputation is actually good. Now, let's bring that priority down a little bit. In fact, let's just release that and let them focus on the, the deal marketing because I really don't want my reputation to be terrible. And uh, not marketing sloth too is not going to help, but that's that's whatever. Uh, it is about to be June and then it'll be July because that's how months work. And then we release Vector 5 and I'm really hoping for good things. Uh, Vertex 2 as well is about to go into beta. So I almost wonder if we can get that in beta, can we get a December release on Vertex 2? So we can get two things going in 1997. That would actually be a pretty big deal, I think. I think that'd be a pretty big deal. Let's uh, throw another press build out for Vector 5. I don't think it's necessarily doing anything for the followers, but that's all right. Not super worried about it. I just want to see Vertex. There we go. It's in beta. So that means I can sort of swing everybody around to focus on Nerd OS now. Uh, so let's bring the priorities down a bit on these. And we'll just let them focus on Nerd OS rather than bug fixing. And we can fix, we can get the post launch team. In fact, you know what I'll do? Let's put the post launch team on it now, I guess. And we'll see how that goes. So I'll go ahead and throw them onto this one as well. Wait, did I just put them in Nerd OS? I did. Uh, take them off of that. They're on Vertex already, right? Yeah, they're on Vertex. I want them on Vector, even though they're only going to have you know, a month to do some stuff. But if I put the post-launch team on there, it gives them something to do and it gets some bugs fixed. Now, we once again didn't finish Marketing Sloth 2 or Pizza World. I might need to cancel these, which is going to cripple my... Man, that is, that is going to cripple my, uh, my reputation if I do that, but... I don't, I don't think we're in a position where for some reason we can actually do that marketing. So I would kind of rather cancel it. Oh, we've only got Sloth 2 now. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's, um, let's take some risks here. Let's say Vertex 2 is going to be December. Actually, you know what I should have, mm, you know what I should have done? I should have looked at the event calendar. So this month we have a 2D editor coming out. And I think marketing for Sloth 2 ends this month. There's no other 2D editor coming out this year. So if one came out before now, uh, that might be slightly problematic. And it was March, so that's a bit rough, and it sold pretty well. Uh, before that was December, and it sold pretty well. So we're kind of coming in on an already saturated market, but whatever. Uh, Vertex. Vertex. There is no 3D editor in December. There is no 3D editor coming out until December next year. So Vertex coming out this December is not actually a bad idea. So let's go down to December of 97. And we'll hit release on that. We'll go to marketing. We'll start putting together a press release. We'll go to... Uh, we'll not do a press build yet. And we'll slowly work on that press release. So let's put it there. Uh, we can end this. Let me let me just organize things a little bit. Uh, so Vertex 2, we're going to print up to 100,000 copies of that as well. So we'll be all right there. Uh, Nerd OS is in development, so we'll just kind of let it do its thing. And Sloth 2 is doing whatever. So that's fine, right? Uh, now it is, I mean, it is July, so let's get Vector out and let's see what people think of it. The Bleeding Wedge, it's ambitious, it's four stars, it's five stars, it's four stars. I'll take it. We'll give it a marketing budget higher than anything we've done so far, $45,000 a month. We're going to make that the top priority, and we'll see what happens there. So that's going to be our top priority in terms of marketing. We'll bring this down to an eight. We'll bring Sloth to a six, and Vertex to a four. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I'm hoping for good things. It is outstanding. It's inspiring. So hoping for good things. Uh, we should definitely port it, though. So let's go to post-launch team and let's go to releases. 
Let's get 3.5 million more uh, potential consumers here. We could put a Nerd OS as well, but it's not coming out for a while, so we'll not bother. Uh, but we will immediately go in there and do that. We can, let's see. Let's uh, cancel support for that. Let's cancel support for that. Uh, cancel support there. People are not going to love me for canceling support on these things, but that's fine. Amplitude 2 will keep and Vector 5 is the new one. So let's get these priorities sorted out a little bit. So Vector goes there. Amplitude is there. That's okay. Vertex is December. Nerd OS is development. Sloth is there and porting is there. Right. Okay. Um, let's actually just see what happens. So I'm, I'm really wanting to make sure I've got this right. I'm really, really wanting to be careful. I'm also noticing we have some hosting. Let's absolutely take that and put it in the hosting server because that'll help me out a little bit. That will give me a little bit of bonus uh, reputation. And here's the thing. If my reputation drops too far, I'm going to have people starting to, uh, you know, get away from my digital distribution. And I don't really want them doing that. So we need to be careful. Uh, and I'm also, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be glad to see this sloth deal end because we can't keep up with it, but let's, let's see what happens. We've fallen underneath $50 million is vector five going to make anything. It did 1.8. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. 1.8 million will do the job. Uh, it is immediately a profit. So good. That is good. And it's being ported to some more popular systems as well. So that is fantastic news. <sighs> okay. I am a little, a little bit less stressed. Uh, printing jobs by May of 98. We can probably take both of these. So that's going to be no problem at all. We can hopefully get those done in a good amount of time. And that's hopefully going to give me, again, a little bit more in the way of reputation. And hopefully that means we'll see some companies come over to our digital distribution platform also kind of looking like my uh marketing team didn't finish marketing vector don't know how i feel about that and just like that it is december 1997 which means vertex 2 is about to be released we are looking at 2.3 million a month on vector 5 which is pretty good it's got 7.9 million in profits uh it is 70 dollars. vector 4 was 70 as well marketing is widespread uh so not bad Honestly, not bad. We don't have a lot of users across our software, though, and that is a little bit upsetting. I'd like I'd like there to be more. I'm also thinking we should probably update this. So let's start in source control. Let's bring the systems up to date a little bit. Let's bring the 2D up to date a little bit. And that'll hopefully do some good for us. We've also got some bugs to fix as well. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll slowly work on that update. But we'll also go ahead and start getting uh, Vertex out the door. So let's release it. And what do they think of it? So they make they made the IP worse. Oh, boy. All right. Five stars and four stars. I'll take it. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We're going to give it a $55,000 uh, marketing budget. And I did take Vector up to $55,000 as well to see if we could maybe do some good things there. We'll bring Amplitude down a little bit so we can prioritize Vertex and Vector. And we will immediately go in with an update. Oh, sorry. We're already doing one there. We'll already we'll go in with an update for Vertex to bring the systems and 3D up to date. And I wonder if we could get that update out before we even get sales figures, before we even fix any bugs. It'd be interesting to see if, you know, we can just get the tech to where it needs to be. Uh, but thinking about it, we also need to port this thing, right? So we'll post-launch team, we'll put it on Sloth 2, and hopefully we'll get good things. A visitor looking to strike a deal with your company went home due to the condition of the waiting room. Okay. I get the feeling we need more cleaners. Oh, the waiting room's also freezing. Have I got no heating in the waiting rooms? Is, is that that is exactly what I think the game is telling me right now. I have no heating in these waiting rooms that yeah, I can I can I can totally understand why uh, a visitor would be a little a little little bit peeved about that. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll do this. So it's nice and warm. And then for cooling, I guess we'll do this and we'll throw one there and we could throw another one. I don't know there and 
there. So can I go and grab all of those? I absolutely can. Can I go and duplicate all of those? I absolutely can. And if I rotate around a little bit, let me do that again. Let me just duplicate all of you and spin it around. And we're looking to do this. So those rooms should now be okay. And hopefully the visitors will stop complaining. Uh, in terms of more deals, October 98. Yeah, we'll take that, I suppose. Uh, we do have some marketing jobs. We could probably take it, but uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm kind of liking the idea of building a dedicated uh, team or two for contracts and deals, to be totally honest with you. Just to really build my company reputation. But before we go there, let's have a look and see how we're doing with Vertex 2. I'm really wanting some money off of this one. And we got 709,000. Actually, I'll take it. I You know, we're not as much as I would have liked, but I'll take it. That's that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to have plenty of bugs to fix on this thing as well, but we'll get the update out. We'll get the vector update out and uh, let's finish that. So immediately, immediately supporting Vertex 2 with an update. Hopefully that's going to lead to more profits and hopefully porting it's going to do that as well. So before we wrap things up for today, there's one last little thing that I want to do. I want to use Nerd OS as sort of a baseline. I want to use it as a way to expand my teams. So at the minute, if we look at NerdOS, we can see that 3D is the slowest aspect of development, right? So if I go in here and I go, well, that's my audio team. If I go in here, this is my 3D team. We got our, we got our programmers, we got our artists, and we got our designers. My 3D designers and my artists aren't really doing much right now, but I, I the programmer is going to be doing stuff for a while and they're slow at it. So I, I basically want to go and take what I did in the marketing room and I want to apply it to my uh, 3D programmers. So I'm going to grab all the furniture in this room and I'm going to go to build mode and I'm going to delete it. And I want to go upstairs and I want to grab all the furniture in this room. I want to clone it and I want to put it right in here, which uh, is going to go right about there. So that's going to give these guys all of the stuff they're going to need. Uh, we can go to the phones and we can replace those with something that's going to be a bit more efficient for a programmer, such as a calculator. Uh, they might like, you know, some headphones, but we'll give them we'll give them calculators, right? And they've got laptops as well. We also probably want to grab the color of the room on the inside here, which is apparently that shade of green. I don't think it is. That's maybe the wrong room I've grabbed there. Uh, so this this room, please. Can I, can I just go and room colors, interior? Maybe it is that shade of green. Okay. So if I select all of these and I go to here and paste. Oh, it is the right shade of green. Okay. So we'll go to the chairs as well. And we will change the seats to that shade of green. And we'll go to the carpet, select all of it. And we'll change this guy to that shade of green. Uh, I do want to grab the floor color up here. Because I do kind of like the darker floor on this. And we'll go ahead and say that the floor color down here is going to be nice and dark, which I think is a little bit better. So we have that going for us. We have how many, how much room for programmers? We have 12. All right. So if I go to my 3D team now and I go to HR management, we can go to 12 programmers, which I think is going to be pretty good for us. The next step is going to be system and network. So this is my audio team. This is my systems team. So systems has already been expanded. Uh, 2D has been expanded. Where's my networking team? My networking team is here. So let's do exactly the same thing for the networking team. Let's just grab all of the furniture, delete it, and get them something a little bit nicer. I may have accidentally upgraded my audio team office as well. So I've decided that they're going to get some extra programmers too. But hopefully what this will end up doing is giving us a little bit of extra development for NerdOS and it'll hopefully get it out a little bit sooner. I'm also hoping that porting Vertex 2 is going to get us a bit more money. Now, 1.3 million, 1.3 million, not bad. We're not necessarily making as much as I'd like, but we are making money, so that's fine. Uh, January 99, you guys want some stuff printed? Sure. We can absolutely do that. 
Uh, digital distribution is climbing again. I think we absolutely need to build that, uh, that support office. I think that's kind of where we're at. We need the company, the, the business reputation to climb. And I'm not really getting it to climb from deals. So definitely, definitely need to see that climbing a little bit. Okay, let's push out Vector 5.1. It's 100% updated. Half of the bugs have been fixed. And we'll immediately go in there and start another update to bring the 2D up to uh, level 1995 as well. Uh, it is just going to be the post-launch team working on that. So we'll let them go ahead and deal with it. Uh, the bugs, they'll take a little bit of time, but at least half of them have been fixed. So hopefully people are going to be appreciative of that. But I think, and you probably know what I'm about to say. I think that's going to do us for today is, is what I was going to say. Just in case you were wondering, you, you were probably right. Just like I mentioned last time, we are reaching that point of Software Inc. where things have slowed down a little bit. Now, I do have some ideas for how we can get development up and going again a little bit faster, and I do want to do that. That's kind of my that's my my end goal with this company, is that we are automating everything and that we are pushing out yearly releases of things like uh office software i want regular consoles i want sequel after sequel after sequel to different video games but we're not quite there yet but don't worry we will absolutely get there and i have a couple of ideas for how we're going to do that the first idea being that we're quite frankly going to have to build a dedicated support office or rather a deals and contracts office where we can hire people to boost our reputation with the industry as a whole but that is going to be it for the time being thank you so much for watching it's been an absolute pleasure as always if you have any feedback suggestions or comments leave them in the comments and i will see you next time Bye bye